Alright guys, Dominic here for Kit Guru, and the reason you can't see me today is because we are very much focusing on this little box in front of me, because this is the GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. Not 1080 Ti, not 1080, not 1070, it's a 1070 Ti. They've been long rumoured, Nvidia have said absolutely nothing, um, but here we, we have one, they are real. Um, so, we can go ahead and unbox one today, we'll have to bring you the full review data later on, but... Let's very much get into this box. We'll take you through um, some of the core specs, um, what, what's in the box. And this particular model is obviously the Palette Super Jetstream, as you can see. For some reason, they've decided to orient their boxes vertically instead of horizontally, but there, there you can see that, the Palette Super Jetstream GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. And obviously on the front, immediately, you can see 8 gigs of... Um, GDDR5, no X, which uh, means it's not at the 1080s level in that regard. The 1080 obviously has GDDR5X, which is effectively just a bit faster. But why don't we crack on, I'll just whip out my knife, we'll crack on, get on, get into the, the box, um, and see what this card is made of. So we've got little little card foam. Oh, I've not actually opened this before, so this is the very first time, the very first time uh, seeing it. So there we have the initial look inside. You can see the card. You can also maybe make out the accessories at the bottom. But we'll get to those in just a tick. So first, we'll obviously take out the accessories. You get um, this here is a little a little bundled. What is it? 8 pin to 2 6 pin adapters, or 2 6 pin to 8 pins is more accurate. Um, don't, we won't need that, but good to see it's included. Anything else in the box? Oh, take out the card, put that to one side for now. And I'll move this, oh, one more thing. I'll just pop that box on the, on the floor. So we have this um, is just a little quick start guide, um, quick installation guide. Very nice. Probably won't need that either. And then we have a driver CD, um, although nobody really uses these anymore. Um, just download the latest drivers on uh, NVIDIA's website or GeForce Experience, whatever you use. And then, of course, look at this. What would an unboxing be without a little branded sticker? Perfect. Now, Oh, the card itself, it's, it's quite hefty, I'll tell you that. So it's obviously a dual fan dual fan cooling configuration. As I say, I'm not seen, I haven't even seen pictures of this card until now, so I'm seeing all of this for the first time just like you. Um, so dual fan, it looks to have that same kind of silver black monochrome styling, color neutral styling we've seen from other palette cards. But let's get it out. There we go, beautiful. It's quite. A, it's a thick card. Tell you that it's two and a half slots. You can see that there. It's got the. It's got the. Um, the extra. Oh, you better use my other hand. Here we go. It's got. It sticks out beyond the little PCIe bracket, doesn't it? And it's also a fair bit taller than the the PCIe bracket just there. You can see it sticks out. So, check your check your case um, compatibility. But. Flipping it back round, as I mentioned, we've got these dual fans. They look like they look like 100 mil fans on the front. Um, I haven't got the the full product details yet. Um, dual fans, silver finish, feels like plastic, and yeah, it looks good. I think it's got the jet screen, the jet stream branding there. We flip it round to the side. You've got the the palette logo just there. Um, and you can also see the power plugs. Interestingly enough, this has got a six and an eight pin, um, which for a, a, for a custom cooled card is interesting because uh, many of the, the 1070 and even some 1080 cards just had a single eight pin. So the fact that this is six and eight, potentially interesting, might help with overclocking, power delivery, but I guess we'll have to see when we do the full review. Now, uh, on the other side, 
We've obviously got, you can see the heat sink. It looks to be a fairly, fairly hefty um, thin array, which um, should obviously help cooling. We expect with a custom, a custom cooled car like this, that cooling should be no problem. Um, IO, we've got, let me just look before I tell you the wrong thing. We've got, it's, this, it's the usual three display ports, uh, one HDMI and one DVI-D. I'd imagine their DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.0, you'd expect. Um, yeah, that's all fine and good. Some some cards have been moving to two HDMI and two DisplayPort, which helps with VR, but honestly, I'm not too fussed either way. You can always get a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter should you need one. Did we look on the back? I don't think we did. We've got... We've got a nice back plate. For some reason, there's a little cutout for the, the GPU core screws, though, like the little GPU core bracket. That's still, that's been left on, but there's a there's a, a reasonably thick metal back plate on the, obviously on the back there, which is nice, much better than the bare PCB. Um, and then turning just over quickly to this end, we've got, we can just about see there, the three copper heat pipes, and those are not nickel plated. You can tell they're just, straight up copper, no monkeying around. Right, so let me put that there. This is the Palit GTX 1070 Ti. And if I just, bear with me while I just reach for my figures. There are a few, there are a couple of things to mention when it comes to G GTX 1070 Ti. Um, most importantly, perhaps, is the amount of CUDA cores because the 1070i features 2,432 CUDA cores, where if we contrast that against the 1080, that only has 2,560. So you're actually only getting around 100, what is it, 128 more if you go for the 1080. So the, the 1070ti. Some people have been calling it like a scaled up 1070. It's actually more accurate to think of it as a slightly shaved down 1080 because r realistically, that I don't think, well, obviously I haven't, I haven't tested it yet. I haven't put it in um, our test rig, but that only having about 130 CUDA cores less, I'm not too sure how much performance hit that's actually gonna mean. I think the 1070 Ti is gonna be very close to 1080 levels. It's obviously, um, been brought out purely to take on Vega 56 because that was slightly faster than a 1070, roughly speaking, slightly faster than a 1070, slower than a 1080. So um, I don't know why Nvidia didn't just cut the price of a 1080 more, but they decided 1070 Ti, let's take on Vega. CUDA cores, 1070 Ti, very close to 1080. I'd be very interested to see um, what the performance figures are once we get this in our system. Um, and then another thing to mention, we also already mentioned the memory. Um, so that's at um, eight gigabits a second. It's GDDR5, whereas uh, a 1080, they actually released newer variants, which are up to 11 gigabits per second. So the memory is slightly slower, more in line with um, a reference 1070. And then clock speeds is the last thing we'll finish on. This is a base clock of 1607 megahertz, which is incidentally the same base clock as a GTX 1080. And it also has a boost clock of 1683 megahertz, which is actually the same boost clock as a GTX 1070. So it's got the base clock of a 1080, the boost clock of a 1070, and Nvidia has actually told, this is quite interesting, Nvidia has actually told third-party manufacturers, Palit, Asus, EVGA, Gigabyte, those guys, they are not to ship custom-cooled factory overclocked cards. The reason being, well, the reason we assume is that a factory overclocked 1070 Ti is going to be faster or as fast as a 1080. So this Palit card does not come overclocked. You will not find any third-party cards that do come factory overclocked. You'll be able to overclock them yourself, but they won't come overclocked, and that is, we assume, to mean out of the box, this will not be as fast as a 1080, but with a bit of tweaking, it's gonna be there, thereabouts, maybe even slightly faster. So, whether the 1070 Ti um, sounds the death knell for the 1080, I would say at the moment it's looking very likely. We're also hearing rumors that it's going to be around 50 pounds cheaper than a 1080, 
uh, which is interesting. Those are obviously aren't confirmed. There's just some um, some rumours we've been hearing. We'll have to wait for official um, prices from the likes of Overclockers UK. But when we do have the prices, when we've got the performance, we'll be able to set. We'll, we'll be able to firmly say, is this the end of the 1080? Is the 1070i going to be a shrewd investment? Um, and overall, what is the general deal with 1070 Ti? Has it really wiped Vega off the map, so to speak? And is there any reason to go for a 1080 anymore? We'll find out. But this has just been a brief unboxing of this. This is the Palette Super Jetstream GTX 1070 Ti. They are here, they are real. We'll have performance figures very soon. But for now, this has just been a brief unboxing to show you the card, what, talk around the, uh, the features, and then talk a bit about the 1070 Ti in general. So I'm Dominic for Kit Guru. This is GeForce GTX 1070 Ti, and the review is coming very soon.